Launching your product. The critical first steps most people fail to do. Here are the six critical first steps you need to take before jumping straight into a launch. These steps will get you success on your terms when you decide what you actually want. Too many people lurch into launching without deciding exactly what they want the entire experience to look like. And it's no wonder that most people don't have the positive experiences when it comes to launching. And after a series of launch failures, I decided to approach launches in a totally new way. And that has resulted in me actually enjoying the whole experience. And I just see launching as a normal business function now. It's simply business as usual. I don't get overly emotional about anything that happens during or after any of my launches now. One of the key strategies that I started implementing to adopt this new relaxed approach was to take more control of the situation by deciding exactly how I want all aspects of my launch to go. Most people don't take the time to decide exactly how they want their launch to go. They just start creating their launch assets and they run their promotions. Not taking the time to decide exactly what you want can make all of the difference to your success and your happiness in your business. So I highly recommend that you don't skip the planning phase of your launch. Today, I'm showing you exactly what I plan when it comes to my launches to help you do the same. Today, you will discover all of the decisions that need to be made before you start creating launch assets how to get results that are aligned with your own preferences, how to avoid getting attention from nightmare clients, and how to boost your confidence and increase your relaxation, knowing that all of your crucial planning is now done. My name is Kath Kyle and I lead the Hustle Less Manifest More movement. Now I'm just curious, how much planning do you generally do when it comes to your launches? Do you have a launch checklist that you normally work through to get your launches complete? I would love to know. Let me know by leaving a comment on my blog, on my YouTube channel, or sending me a DM on Instagram at Kath underscore Kyle. There are six areas that you need to make decisions about when it comes to your launching. And if you work through each of these six areas one at a time, you'll feel so confident and relaxed when it comes to your launch because you've decided exactly what you want in advance. And part of the overwhelm comes from not knowing exactly what you want from your launch and not knowing if you've achieved your results or not. And this is what planning helps you to achieve. So the first decision that you need to make is to decide exactly who you want to work with. And regardless of whether or not you're going to be working with customers or clients, the process is exactly the same. Have you ever attracted a client that you couldn't stand? Or perhaps a customer who criticized everything you did, downloaded all of your materials, threatened to sue you and then demanded a refund. And anyone who's um, been selling products for a long time has probably had at least a fair share of these kind of customers. I know I have. And obviously none of us wants to work with that kind of person. And we can avoid this kind of client if we focus more on the kind of person that we do want to work with. And I used to get these kind of nightmare customers all of the time. And after I started doing this, I am happy to say that I haven't had anyone complaining. I haven't had anyone requesting a refund, downloading all my stuff or any of that kind of stuff. So what you need to do, first of all, is to decide the kind of person that you enjoy working with. And if you had to choose a new friend to hang out with, what would they be interested in? What topics would interest them and what would their values be? Would your dream client be able to afford your offer? Would your dream client be grateful for your solution and have a positive mindset? So whatever you want in a customer, this is the crucial decision that you need to make. And have you ever felt overwhelmed that you weren't providing your customer enough help? Maybe you feel like your solution isn't a big enough solution. 
Um, getting clear on exactly how you are helping your customer can eradicate feelings like you've not done enough for your clients. And I encourage you to decide on your boundaries when it comes to your solution. So what is the end point of your help? Are you helping with a small part of an entire transformation or are you charging appropriately for the size of the solution that you're offering? Are you trying to help your clients with too much, which might be causing them overwhelm? Getting clear on the boundaries of your offer is essential for both helping your customer to get results and for keeping your own sanity. One of the biggest mistakes that I see entrepreneurs making is to try and help everyone. When you try and help everyone, you actually help no one. And I totally get it because it does feel like you're turning away business when you niche down and you only focus on helping a smaller group of people. But in reality, if you try and target everyone, you end up reaching no one. And people like to feel special. They like to feel that you really hear them and you know the pain that they're going through and you have a unique solution to help a unique person. And if you say in your marketing that I help everyone and I help all people who want to improve their health, for example, nobody is going to be interested in that. And it can be really hard to decide who you are focusing on. Um, so one of the easiest ways to decide which group of people you are helping is to decide who you are not helping. For example, I have several health businesses myself and each one of those focuses on different groups of people, but all of them help people to get healthy. One of my businesses focuses on helping busy parents to lose weight by replacing their meals with homemade green meal replacement shakes. And I do not help people who have lots of time to prepare food from scratch and make elaborate healthy, healthy meals and sit down and enjoy them with all the time in the world. But another one of my businesses does focus on helping people to recover their health by eating raw food. And within this business model, I don't help people who are busy or those who don't have much money because preparing raw food meals can be time consuming and it can be expensive. So can you see how both of these different businesses have totally different niches, but they still help people to be healthy to get the same end result. They both have the same broad outcome, but they have niched down to appeal to their target audiences in a much better way. And it's really useful for you to get clear on who you do not help as this is the is guaranteed to help you make more sales because people know exactly what they are getting and that it is specifically designed for their individual needs. So I can't stress this enough. Most people make this mistake, especially when they're new to their business and they target everybody and they get absolutely no results. And this is one of the biggest reasons that I see people doing this time and time again. And it is a really big mistake. So you really, really have to niche down. Number four, decide what makes you unique. Do you feel like you're inferior to some of the big gurus in your niche? Do you feel like they have it all completely sussed and why on earth would anyone pay money to you when they could get something better by paying one of the big name brands who have done everything absolutely perfectly? And it is really human to think this way. So don't beat yourself up if you are scared to launch and have these types of thoughts. However, what I want to ask you is, have you ever bought something from someone who wasn't the number one in that niche? And I'm pretty sure you have. And do you remember the reasons why you bought it? I often buy courses and products from people who are not one of the industry leaders because the prices are more affordable and the solutions often seem more targeted and I resonate more with them as a person and I feel like I'll get more help and support from that person because they're not serving as many people and all of these are really good reasons why people will also choose to buy from you. So for you to get any results with your launches you need to decide what makes you unique and why people would actually buy from you. And if you can't think of any reasons why people would buy from you, I can almost guarantee that you won't get any sales at all. So this step is absolutely crucial. 
Step number five, decide what your launch results will be. Setting goals for your launch would seem quite obvious, wouldn't it? Yet most entrepreneurs don't set any goals for their launches at all. And I totally understand why, because I have been there myself. And for a long time, my launch results were so bad that I got so disappointed with my results and I refused to set any goals at all for anything. I just put my stuff out there and hoped for the best. However, if you know anything about how manifestation works, this is not a good strategy because we generally get what we believe we're going to get. We literally attract results to us by what we think about them. So you don't always get what you want the very first time though. And I talk about this in a lot more detail and go into some of the reasons for this in my course, Manifest Your Dream Launch. But for now, it's enough to know that in life, most things don't come without practice and launching is just one of those things and it's not impossible but it is unusual to get results on your very first launch so if you haven't had results yet know that this is normal and keep the faith keep believing that this will happen for you you just have to decide what you want your results to be and don't give up on your dreams it's only a matter of time so how much money do you want to make with your launch how many customers or clients do you want? It's crucial that you make decisions about this. Number six, decide what your launch experience will be. Most people don't give any thought whatsoever to what the launch experience will be, to how they want to feel during a launch. Do you find launches so stressful that you end up dreading them? You can't sleep, you can't eat, or you eat too much, or you just can't enjoy anything until it's over. And you're not alone here. And this, unfortunately, is the norm when it comes to launching. But we are about to change all that. And this is one of the main reasons that I created my Manifest Your Dream launch course, because I wanted to help people actually enjoy their launches. And if you're a bit shocked right now that anyone could actually enjoy a launch. I totally get it because I used to think the exact same way until one day I simply just decided that launches were going to be easy and enjoyable for me, just like all other parts of my business were. You get to choose. It's your business. You are the business owner. You don't have a boss that makes things unbearably stressful for you during the launches. That's your decision. Will you end up making things unbearable for your team members or for your family while you're going through a launch? You are the boss. It doesn't have to be that way. You get to decide on something else right now. So how do you want your launches to look? I'm just curious, have you ever had a failed launch or been too put off to ever launch again? Or maybe you've just never plucked up the courage to launch for the first time as it just seems like too much hard work. I've totally been there myself. I've had a nightmare burnout launch that zapped the life from my entire body and I was too scared to launch again for a very long time until I finally discovered a strategy that helped me to launch quickly and easily and ha actually have fun in the process. So I have documented my system for launching with confidence and ease in my new course called Manifest Your Dream Launch. And I take you on a 30 day journey from planning your dream launch manifesting your results, launching with fun and ease, and then analyzing your results and planning your next launches. So you can get that by going to kathkyle.com launch and it is currently has an introductory price. Every time I launch, I raise my prices. So grab it now while you can. And make sure you don't miss my next podcast episode by subscribing to my podcast, Manifest Business Success, so you don't miss that. And I also send you an email when my next piece of content has arrived. And I also give away so many free gifts to my email subscribers. And you can subscribe by opting into any of my free gifts, such as my Easy Launch Tech Toolkit. In this Easy Launch Tech Toolkit, I am showing you exactly which tools I use in all of my launches across all of my businesses. And after a lot of research, I believe I have found a collection of online tools 
that are the most effective, economical and easy to use. So save yourself the hassle of weeks upon weeks upon research, which is something that prevents a lot of people from actually launching because they do so much research into the tech and they just get completely overwhelmed and they don't know which one to go, th go for, which solution to go for. And I use solutions that are very, very affordable and a lot of them are free. And I've done all of the hard work so you don't have to. And I've done this over the last 10 years and tried out most of the solutions out there. This free toolkit is part of my Manifest Your Dream launch course. So go and grab it now free for a limited time only by going to kathkyle.com launch toolkit. Now it's your turn to go and put your stamp on the world.